The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. Here comes the intimidating Veer. Six foot four, 275 pounds of pure punishment. It took a while for Veer to arrive, but he's been dominating ever since. Yeah, Mahan's got big victories over many top names in WWE, including Rey Mysterio. Look at the rage in the eyes of Veer. I fear for the opposition tonight. He is the alpha male of our species. And Lesnar looking to dominate. Brock Lesnar's been a dominant force his entire career. Brock Lesnar has made a career out of steamrolling whoever has dared get in his way. He truly seems to enjoy combat. Of course, Cole, because it's what Lesnar was built for. The battlefield is his home. Yeah, Brock Lesnar relishes the chance to go out and simply conquer. Because Brock wants to be on the very top of the mountain. And he won't be denied. Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! And his opponent from Uttar Pradesh, India, weighing in at 275 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion, V. One of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment here for the taking, the United States Championship. This is all for the right to call yourself the United States Champion. To put yourself in the echelon of John Cena, Ricky Steamboat, Steve Austin, some of the greats of all time. Over 40 plus years of history for the United States Championship. And a new chapter is written tonight. Did you hear that impact? Uh-oh, got snatched up here. And there was some force on that move. Maybe that will set him up. into the floor. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Punch right in the head. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal forearm. Then slamming their face down. 
Well, ultimately not invincible. Brock Lesnar has managed to dominate every superstar he's been in the ring with over the years. With that in mind, Corey, what strategy, if any, do you see for taking him on? Well, Lesnar's obviously a freak athlete, but as we've seen before, if you can turn the match into a sprint, you have more of a fighting chance. Keeping the pace up and making this a speed-based match, you should be able to either tire Lesnar out or disorient him enough to get the upper hand. Saw it coming and went for the defensive headbutt. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Boom, boom, persistent barrage. there caught with that sharp elbow oh the body block rock here now not used to be without the momentum he's kept the pace up in this one and it's really taken lesnar out of his element disorienting the beast incarnate looking vulnerable on that top turnbuckle oh my god all the way to the floor a move from that height could rearrange your bones He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by countout. Ouch. Raw power. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. The champ taking their share of hits now. Belly to belly. He's able to combat out of Brock's grip. Full speed using their body as a weapon. He's back into the ring. Big boot. Wow. Got Buster. He moves just in time. Oh. Wobbly in the corner. Lesnar moved. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Oh my, down with authority. Oh my God. This epic rivalry began like any other with jealousy and harsh words. But from that seed has blossomed an all time blood feud. Yeah, who could have predicted when all this began that they become bitter enemies, the likes of which we rarely see? And another. Now he's got a chance to best Mahan here. The Lion beginning his feast. Cervical clutch applied. Body gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? doing going to the top rope. Then the top. He's able to win the championship on the line. That's it. The champ stays the champ. Here is your winner. And still, WWE United States Champion, 
V. Mahan. And the celebration's underway. I am awestruck, gentlemen. We just witnessed another human being overcome the beast incarnate. Here comes Finn Balor. A man who has truly embraced his darkness and has seen success as a result. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day. From Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn. Well, Finn Balor is a true, fierce competitor who will beat down anyone in his path. Balor has honed his skill set and turned his entire body into a weapon. Hey, let's not forget, Balor is a very gifted technical wrestler. Yeah, Balor also has a very nasty attitude. Who are you to pass judgment on a member of the Judgment Day, Byron? Well, he attacks the body and the mind. The mark of a truly intelligent competitor. And oh, how he has developed a long, sadistic streak. I completely agree, Cole, and I completely enjoy it. Six foot four, 275 pounds of pure punishment. And his opponent from Uttar Pradesh, India, weighing in at 275 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, V. Mahan. It took a while for Veer to arrive, but he's been dominating ever since. Yeah, Mahan's got big victories over many top names in WWE, including Rey Mysterio. Look at the rage in the eyes of Veer. I fear for the opposition tonight. The Prince Finn Balor with a determined purpose as part of the Judgment Day. Well, Finn has always done best as the leader of a group back to his days in Japan. He has that kind of in-ring arsenal you can only assemble from traveling the world. And now, with the Judgment Day under his wing, he really has his best platform in years to preach his wisdom. No doubt looking to send a message in this one. Hope he isn't getting paid by the hour because Veer Mahan is probably looking to make this a quick one. The Lion of WWE has feasted on many an opponent in his young career. 
clearly staking his claim as a big man on the rise, and very few have been able to stand against him so far. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Oh, Mahan caught by surprise. Look at this, going counter for counter. Boom. Punch. Nasty. Things not looking great for Finn Balor. Got flipped upside down there. And Mahan has taken control. You're not going to find Veer show any remorse. We've heard Finn Balor mention a lack of fear. That has to be a mental hurdle. And will this be it? Kicks out at just one. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Veer is proving he is not intimidated in the slightest. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him.
kicked in the midsection a number of times. I hope he doesn't have a broken rib. Uh, that's certainly possible. No doubt about it. The superstar is in a great deal of pain. Struggling to catch his breath. I mean, I, I'm honestly surprised he's walking out here on his own strength. He is hurt. Here comes the challenger. Oh, what an opportunity of a lifetime. And the champion, realizing that, wants to get the upper hand. That is cheap. And just like that, the challenger's aspirations might have gone up in smoke. After a shocking surprise attack by Andre, this match is finally underway. Certainly not how I thought we'd be starting this match. Yeah, it's just a little friendly warm-up before the match. There is nothing friendly about jumping someone when they're not looking, Corey. We talk a lot about determined superstars, tenacious superstars. Finn Balor definitely fits that bill, but Corey, will that benefit him here tonight? Tenacity is fine and all, but in Balor's case, it needs to be paired with his explosiveness and ability to get things done. Otherwise, it's just another guy getting beaten down easily. Oh, wow, what a strike to the back. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Body block. Big forearm. There are a lot of ways this can go sideways. Everything on that stage looks like it hurts. Unpacks a well-placed punch. Facing off at the top of the ramp. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to hurt. He steps foot in the ring again. He's heading up top. Thinking big. And we are down to the proverbial wire here, guys. Match hanging in the balance. Time to get back in the ring. From the top, double match handle cuts. Immense pressure being kept on Balor. This is what it... take to keep this guy down. He went right into that turnbuckle.
He's feeling the effects of that last hit. He turns it around. The press and the piston light right hands. Oh, a flurry of strikes. Trapped in the corner. Just not stop blows. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. close to being collateral damage in this one. And that was an effective attack, guys. Oh, brutal form. Peter's wasting no motion. Peter really having trouble with his defense. Oh, Mahan caught by surprise. And he gets set back into the ring. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Ooh. And Balor's being picked apart now. This is what it feels like to run into a competitor like Mahan. Oh, good punch. some considerable damage, though. Ah. Way to steer clear. These two having an answer for everything. Bella retaliates. Press and the piston-like right hands. Oh, my goodness. They're striking at will. Oh, impressive counter. Punch connects. Hits back with a jawbreaker. being kept on Balor. You're not going to find Veer show any remorse. After everything these two men have been through. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. And some effective offense with that one. position here. After a shot, then slamming their face down. to the outside now. Full speed using their body as 
lethal weapon. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Oh, God. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. He gets out of the way. Over the top rope. Oh, this is vicious. Finn Balor has his sights set solely on his opponent now.
this arena knows it took a sneak attack to pull it off. A win is a win. Doesn't matter how you got there. Even if you had to cheat. Even if you had to cheat. I mean, do whatever it takes. 